Hi, I'm Paul Holofko. Today we're going to show how to propagate blueberry plants from cuttings aeroponically. It's actually done quite simply, but there's a couple of general rules that you really need to pay attention to. First thing you do is when you talk about sterilization. I'm going to use a pair of scissors. There are other type of scissors that you can use to do a cutting on your on your on your um, blueberries. In this case, I use isopropyl alcohol, and that generally will kill about 99% of the bacteria. Make sure you have a very, very sharp knife, or in this case, two knives, very sharp scissors, and try to get them sterilized to cut your cuttings. Okay, I have a blueberry cutting. Here's the bottom, here's the top, and I removed all the leaves so that it doesn't lose water. And I take the scissors and I need to cut it at an angle, very large surface area. So you get a nice clean cut with sterilized scissors. The next step really is to start putting root hormone. You can do one with a powder or you can do it with a gel. In this case, I'm doing it with a powder. And then the next step after that is to put it into your clay pot, your rooting pot, and hold it with your bio balls. So this thing will actually hang out and water will spray on all the time. In roughly about two weeks, you'll start seeing roots at the end here. And the next step is to put it down into your aeroponic system where then the water will then flush up against it and then you'll have roots in roughly about two weeks. Uh, my suggestion also is to cover it so that it uh, loses the evaporation here. You can put a glass over here or some sort of plastic cup. So in roughly about two weeks, you actually start seeing some roots coming out the bottom of your cutting if there's no sterilization problem. One of the tricks is to make sure that your water stays totally sterilized. No, do not put nutrients in there at this time. It'll actually burn your, your cuttings. What you want to do is you want to just put straight out water, run it for roughly about in your, in your aeroponic system for about an hour to get rid of the chlorine, and then just let it run. However, in order to help keep it sterilized, you can use a bit of hydrogen peroxide, roughly about three to four milliliters per gallon of 29% hydrogen peroxide that you can get in a hydroponic store. The type of hydrogen peroxide that you get in the, in the pharmacy is roughly 3% and also has a destabilizer in there in order for preserving. So you really don't want to use this kind of stuff. You want to use the one that's actually in the hydroponic store. And it comes in bottles like this or in a little bit smaller. So keep your system clean and you're off to the races.